guys welcome back to my channel i'm bare faced once again so you guys already know a makeup tutorial is coming your way and yeah it's not a regular makeup tutorial it's actually something that i never tried on this channel before and i'm super excited to get my hands on which is trying to replicate copy a filter yeah filters are all over the place instagram tiktok snapchat you name it, and I can't wait to try to copy one. There's a lot of discussion about filters. Some people love it, some people hate it, some people think some of them are too much. This one in particular, I'm not sure if it does like face shape alteration, maybe it does, but it consists on makeup. It's a filter that gives you makeup when you're not wearing any, and it's a TikTok filter. The one that everyone was so hyped up about so let's see it i'm gonna try it right now for you guys to see it have my phone over here entering tiktok right now you basically just create a new tiktok hi there and you can go to effects and there's this one in particular there's that's called that glow it's in portuguese my phone so uh Kelly glow <laughs> seems like brazilian here but yeah this is a filter as you can see no makeup, makeup, no makeup, makeup. Uh, but yeah, it's a really pretty filter. You can catfish with this for sure. You look instantly so pretty, has fake freckles, has a very beautiful lipstick. That's the part I'm most excited to recreate. Also the eyes, eyelashes, everything. The only thing is really making a drastic change here is the eyes because it gives you kind of this greenish blue eyes and i'm not going to wear any contacts on this but i'll try to recreate like the main feeling of this i just want to have a makeup that looks this good so i'm gonna try it out let's go Okay, so zooming in on this face so we can start working on it. I'm gonna start like I usually do, which is apply concealer. And this one is the NYX Born to Glow in the color Olive, because my skin is green. I'm using the blender or whatever, the sponge to just blend all this concealer. Okay, concealer is blend. Let's just look at this picture again to see our next step. So it doesn't have much contour, but I want to do some, especially on the nose. So I think I will go with creamy contour. Have this palette here from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's called the Contour Cream Palette, and I'm going with uh, Java here. And I'll add it here on the cheekbone and really blend it. And you can really blend it well because we want like a bronzy look. And with a smaller brush with the same color, I'm gonna contour my nose. So uh, the nose contour is not too strong on that filter. So I just wanna add a little bit. This color is really good actually. It's not like as warm of a color as I usually use, more cool down color. And I really love that. Adding a bit here under the nose and we'll blend it, so don't worry. Blending with a sponge. Yeah, something like this. And on the picture you can see that the filter makes your nose has this little bubbly point right here, which is very highlighted. So what I'm gonna do is try to draw a circle. And here you just want to blend to the max so you don't look crazy. Perfect, I'm gonna leave it like this. Now what I want to do is apply a powder over all of this because I want to use blush next and blush is gonna be powder blush so I need to set all of this first and I'm using All About Matte Essence Powder. So yeah, just putting this all over. Okay, so now since the powder is kind of matte and before the blush, I feel like a lot of glow has been taken away from my face. So I want to add some and I have this from Florazi's number one and it's called Florazi's Peach Blossom Carver Flower Pattern Half Lighter. Big names that this brand uses. So as you can see, it gives a little texture back, a little glow back. 
and if you apply it with your finger without a brush you can still get the highlighter factor as you can see look at the difference this is with a brush which is very faded but if it's with a finger it looks so bright so yeah i'm adding this to the tip of the nose and here on the bridge too to kind of look like my nose is shorter and cuter now comes the blush and blush is so important on this filter it really gives it a lot of edginess so i'm gonna use this one this is color pops she's in bold super shock chic matte blush and you can use it with a brush or with your finger but with a finger so good <laughs> basically so i'm just rubbing my finger in and now now i really need to look into this picture to copy the placement of this blush so on the nose i feel it has blush here on the bridge a little bit and on the contour as well well i don't think this is dark enough i need to change the blush right now big mistake on my end so i'm changing to this sigma aura powder in cord hollow which is portuguese name and i'm using it with my finger as well although this is powder and i'm gonna add on the bottom as well i believe there's a lot of a light blushy contour to this look and then it has a lot of blush here on the cheeks it's not like too high not too low i i believe it's right above the cheekbones and a little bit to the center like this on this particular area right here all right so i'm happy with the blush but i feel like looking at the picture it has a lot of depth here on the contour, so I, I want to add some more because freckles are going to be on top and I want to look like this is a little bit darker. So I'm using a powder contour now and this is also from Florazis. This is called the Peony Sculpting Contour Powder and I'm going to use this shade right here. It's like a dark shade. Oh my god, I just realized. <laughs> See, this is the problem of not using a mirror. I just realized my blush on the nose was totally not. All right, back. Let's pretend that didn't happen. And I'm gonna add here this bronzing thing, this contour. Also adding a little bit under the lip. And yeah, I think it looks much better now. Okay, so now it's time for freckles. That's why it's so zoomed in so you guys can see. And I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow palette here from NYX. This is called the Grind Shadow Palette. And it has a lot of dark tones, earth tones. I'm gonna use this brown here mixed with this lighter earth tone to create my freckles, fake freckles. I'm just gonna start randomly applying dots all over with a very sharp brush like this. Don't worry too much if it's too dark because we can always blend it. We really need to go crazy here guys and apply a lot, a lot of tiny freckles because the filter has a lot of them. All right, so these are all the freckles that I just draw on my own face. <laughs> this is what I have here and I wanna blend them a little bit with this. So I'm just going to tap. That's basically how I blend the freckles. I just tap them, as you can see, they start getting a little bit more faded. It started looking better. So yeah, that's what we are going to do. Okay, so this is what we have so far and I'm very happy with how the freckles look when blended. Now I'm gonna start with eyeshadow, that's why I put it on my bangs, you know, I love it. So I'm gonna start with the lighter bronzy shades, this is the Grind palette I was using. I'm gonna use this one, kind of metallic, and I'm gonna start applying here in the center. And also adding close to the eyebrow, I'm still gonna do my eyebrows, but just to get that pink metallic feeling here and then I'm gonna move to this shade right here which is kind of an earth tone ochre shade and I'm using this on the middle of the lid and now for the darker uh, color I'm gonna use this shade right here which is a very matte burgundy and this one i'm gonna start applying the pigment here 
on the outer corner of the eye and when I feel I have enough pigment I'm gonna start blending I'm also taking a smaller brush and grabbing the same color and trying to place it really close to the eyelash a more dark mood here and I'm gonna add the same ochre color here underneath the entire eye and with the burgundy I'm also going to go on the under eye but close to the corners to just match the top so looking at the picture i think it needs to be more faded here so i'm using this light shade from the palette and i'm just going to place it here on this line to blend the darker shade yeah, i think it's so much better this way and also with a small brush i want to get the dark color even darker so i'm adding this brown right here that i use for the freckles i'm adding close to the eyelashes and also on the outer corners have a darker smoky eye Alright, so I'm happy with the eyes. I think we are going to see already with the eyelashes and mascara and everything. So if there's any adjustment needed to match the filter more, we're gonna do it at the end. So now I'm gonna do eyebrows and on the filter, maybe because I have bangs, you cannot really see how the eyebrows are. So I'm gonna do them like I've been doing on an everyday basis, which is basically just using mascara on my <laughs> eyebrows i have two mascaras here one that i will use on my eyelashes which is the since i love extreme waterproof mascara my favorite mascara ever and this one is the nyx on the rise volume mascara i don't like it that much because it's not like super intense for my eyelashes but since it's not super intense and it was gifted and i have it here i use it for my eyebrows and i just start brushing them All right, brows are done and with the other mascara, my favorite one, I'm gonna do the eyelashes. All right, can we appreciate it once again for the last time? Can we hear it for the mascara? Yeah. <laughs> no, it does its job. I love that. All right, so now I'm gonna do the lips and um, don't forget that you need to hydrate your lips first here comes the funniest part which is me and my dog <laughs> I don't know if that's how you pronounce it but I think it's so funny but any lip balm will do so I'm gonna go with this NYX lingerie push-up lip this is the color seduction <laughs> now I'm just going to apply it like a lip liner basically <laughs> So I'm much more happy with this shade. Alright guys, so we are almost almost at the end here. And one thing that I want to add, like the last last thing, is eyelashes. Like fake eyelashes. Alright, so all the lashes I have here, I don't know if the brands are still active because they are from my Insta Betty time. <laughs> and these ones are from Sedwihe. Sedwir? Sedwihe. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this. The name of this specific eyelashes is Elora. And one trick that I always did was to cut my lashes into pieces and apply them like individual lashes. So I will still do that because that was my trick back then. I'm gonna take the little eyelash and end up cutting in four tiny pieces like this. Adding some glue to my hand. This is the Ardell glue. And I'm just gonna dip the pieces on the glue, let it dry a bit. and have here like on the middle of the eye keep doing the same thing with the other pieces I might even just use three pieces because like the filter only has the lashes on the end you know of the eye they don't go much in so I think three of the four pieces I cut it are enough yeah, I think this is enough. All right, guys, so eyelashes are done and I'm currently removing my lips. I just looked like side to side to the filter and they were too uh, dark. So I found this new combo, which I think will work perfectly. So still using the NYX Push Up Lingerie, but this one, I found it is darker and knits the color after hours. So I'm just going to line the lips with this one. 
and once again blend it with a finger and now i'm gonna use another nyx lipstick but this one is the matte lipstick in the color brunch me and with this one i'm gently tapping on top i think i can add a little bit of the dark shade to the center as well yeah i think this is much more it all right guys so i'm gonna record a little side by side of this filter and this makeup so we can see the similarities i'm very very happy with it i think it's a very beautiful makeup and it really resembles the filter but let me know your thoughts down below let's compare the two Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys like this makeup tutorial and makeup tutorials in general. Let me know down below if you like it or not. And also if you have any particular video you want me to make, uh, just let me know too. I love to see your recommendations. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I drop videos every Sunday and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok and my Depop where I sell my closet. All the links are down below on the description. Love you guys. See you next week. Bye!